I will be talking about emotional intelligence. So some of you may already know this concept, some of you may not. Um, but the concept is, is to have, it focuses on the ability to express and control emotions uh, and seeing it as essential, um, but also to understand and interpret as well as respond to the emotions of others. So it's kind of being able to look at how you are and what you're feeling, but also like what other people are feeling around you. Um, it was originally coined uh, by two people who actually aren't known to be the one who founded it um, because Goldman ended up talking about it in a book uh, in 1996, which is kind of the staple product for um, emotional intelligence. Um, but for the book, ever since then, like it started to come into leadership conferences and um, different training sessions and stuff like that. But through that time, since it's developed, there's many assessments that exist um, to be able to see how your own emotional intelligence is experienced, what strengths and what areas can be improved. Um, so overall, there are four levels of emotional intelligence. So the first thing is to perceive your emotions accurately. So like, what are you feeling? How are the verbal signs? What are the nonverbal signs? Like, how is my body language coming off? What are my facial expressions? What are the the uh, way that people are communicating um, themselves uh, so that you can sort of not only recognize your own way of communicating, but also start to resonate and understand the emotions of others. Um, so being able to find reason within the emotions. So why do I feel this way? Um, and to be able to pay attention to that. And then also to move into that understanding might take different forms of reflection, but then to look at, is this emotion serving me or is this something that I can manage and to be able to look at how I can manage this in um, more of an effective way. So some of the benefits for emotional intelligence are listed here. Um, and some of them are easier than others. I know for me, I really struggle sometimes with accepting criticism, um, learning to say no, uh, especially like, I like to say yes, and so it's tricky to sometimes stay with that. Um, but then also being able to just uh, be a listener and have empathy for people and talk to people and try and just get out of the, I, I think sometimes the emotion can lead to certain judgments, especially over time. Um, but to be able to try and like change that and see things in new ways um, and yeah, so it's something that I've tried to start to explore over the last little while. Um, some of it is harder than others, but I'm glad that I'm working on it. And some of the ways to be able to work on it, um, to strengthen emotional intelligence, are to become more self-aware um, and to be able to look at like how I'm feeling, what emotions am I portraying, why do I feel this way, um, to be able to regulate that. So like what techniques do I have for releasing stress? Um, I think that one has been really big in the last year, especially since COVID because um, it has come with a lot of changes uh, and stress regulation can always be um, something to work on, but it, we all have our own ways of dealing with stress and addressing how we interact with ourselves, but then also interacting with others, being able to take time to listen, build empathy, start to understand where people are coming from, because sometimes it can be tricky to walk in another person's shoes, but it can be helpful as well. Um, for me, I find motivation to be tricky um, in terms of having it on a consistent basis, but also I find that by taking time to work on something that I enjoy, it brings me back up. Um, and like sometimes it can feel like I don't really have any um, any uh, uh, like energy left. I know yesterday I had a really long week um, and yesterday I was feeling exhausted, but I decided to go skiing anyways. And I'm really glad that I did because um, it brought me back up and really changed my mindset. So being able to take time to push yourself through those phases of like, I know that this will be something I enjoy and so trying to go and pursue that and I think that's one thing that I really like about this group is that people are able to share their passions about whatever subjects that like we all have and um, then of course just take time to reflect and that's it.